So before this video starts off, this video can be very sensitive to some people. I'm going to try my best to not cry because, um, yeah, this is very painful. This video will, out of respect, not be monetized. So view discretion is advised. So uh, enjoy this video if you can even say enjoy because there's nothing to enjoy, unfortunately. So last night, as you can see, I've got a haircut. But um, last night, just before as I went to bed, I thought, you know what? Let's scroll through Instagram because I absolutely love going through Instagram once in a while. It's phenomenal catching up on the news that is all in all these foreign countries. It's very interesting. Texas shooting, 19 children among dead in primary school tech. Um, what do you want me to say? How many school shooting is there going to be in America? How many have there been in the several years that we know of that has been reported? I, as a non-American, I cannot judge and say that guns should be illegal. I cannot say that as I do not live in America. We in Europe, in the whole of the Netherlands, in the whole of EU, have made guns illegal, which is a downside if you want to protect yourself outside. You gotta either run or use your fists, uh, attacking someone in self-defense with a knife, you go to prison. I do like the fact that you can have guns in America for self-defense, but these people, what these people are doing, I don't agree with it. So you be the judge down in the comments before you read this whole thing. Do you think guns should be illegal in the USA? Or do you say, no, but it has to become a stricter law? I think it's already strict enough. But like I said, I am not an American, so I can't judge that. So let's get this started. 19 young children and two adults have died in a shooting at a primary school in South Texas. Um, Texas, yeah, beautiful place. I actually know somebody personally from Texas. I speak to him once in a while. Um, I'm going to actually ask him after this video what he thinks of the situation. But um, yeah. It's sad, man. The gunman opened fire at Rob Elementary School, which teaches children aged 7 to 10. In the city of Uvalde, before he was killed by law enforcement, officials said the 18-year-old suspect had a handgun, an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle and high-capacity magazines, investigators say. The teenager is suspected of shooting his grandmother before the rampage. So the guy was fucked up in his ass, obviously. Local media report he may have been a high school student in the area. Uvalde Consolidated Independent School District Chief of Police Pete Arredondo said he sh the shooting began at 11.32 local time on a Tuesday and that investigators believe the attacker did act alone during this heinous crime. Texas Governor Greg Abbott said the shooter, whom he named as Salvador Ramos, abandoned a vehicle before entering the school to hor horrifically open fire. Um, what can I say? This is a sad story, but this is unfortunately not the first story that we've heard in so many times in America. What is up with you guys that do school shootings? You know, you really wonder what motive does a fucking dude have to shoot innocent little kids and teachers that are teaching kids for their future? This hurts me as well. When I woke up this morning, um, yeah, I was almost in tears because I have a little sister as well. But fortunately enough, in 1999 was the first and only shooting in the Netherlands. Nobody got hit or injured or killed. But we in the 25 years almost haven't had one single school shooting. Yes, I will be honest, we do sometimes have stabbings at school. But trust me, the people that get stabbed in schools and in public, they aren't your average normal innocent civilian. It's often drug related, the dark world as you like to say. We in the Netherlands say someone doesn't just get shot dead or killed in broad daylight. You get stabbed or murdered, you're in that world 99% of the time. Yeah, what is that to say about this? Um, I know some of you might be like, I mean, it's not really that shocking. I find it shocking. An elementary school. Regardless, I don't agree with shootings, unless it's in self-defense. But innocent little children, man. Ah, oh, man, fuck me. I mean, I'm sorry, man. Xavier Lopez, 10, he was a fourth grader at Rob Elementary. His family confers he died in today's school shooting. Out of respect, I'm not going to show this picture, although it is public. Um, a 10 year old, could you imagine you as a parent dropping your kid off at school? Love you, mommy will pick you up, or daddy will pick you up later. And you hear this news. Um, this is. Man, this, this fucks me up as well. And it makes me really think maybe gun laws should be changed. Maybe they have to make it more strict. Because here's an interesting thing, and this is a fact almost in all schools in the Netherlands. Schools open at a certain time in the morning and they close, they fucking lock them up after everyone has entered. If you haven't been on time, you can go fucking straight to home. You're not coming in. You gotta come in before a certain time and if you fuck it up and are late, oh, tough fucking luck. You gotta go home, buddy. You have to do this shit at home. That's something which I don't understand. Why are these schools not closed at a certain time? 
Because I can confirm you, when I went to school, and I went to school in a pretty fucked up neighborhood, I went to school in Spike and Nissa. Let me tell you, that wasn't a very great neighborhood. And there was reasons why that door was always locked, security cameras, fencing around the fence. It was 24 seven fence, so you could only get in through calling your teacher or saying, hey, uh, could you open this door for me? Or fuck it, you climb over. But if you could climb over it, you're a part of the school. But our door was always closed. And in the six years that I've almost been at my high school, we haven't had one single stabbing incident. We haven't had one single shooting incident. And that acquires for the whole of the Netherlands. There hasn't been a school shooting from that we know reported since 1999. And that does say, and it says quite a lot about our guns and our gun law. Getting a gun here in the Netherlands, let me assure you, is very difficult. You don't just get a gun unless you know someone that knows somebody that knows somebody in the underworld. I know it's very easy getting a gun in the USA. It's a fucking gigantic country. It's 5,200 times bigger than the Netherlands. So you can hide out more, you can stash your weapon supply anywhere. You can get a gun here in the Netherlands, but it is super duper difficult. You have to have a clean record. You need to be mentally stable. You have to go to actual trainings. And when you have that license, it has to go in two separate safes. The, the ammo has to be out of the chain on the, on the kitty safety, whatever it's called. I am just so shocked how easy it is to do these things in America. And I know a lot of other countries have school shootings as well. But these past years, we've been seeing an increase of school shooting, especially in America. And while I've also come to the confirmation, it's all fucking white people doing it. I, I'm sorry, man, but as a white person, I'm embarrassed. I cannot believe we are doing this. This is a bad, it is bad for the reputation of, of people. That you're killing innocent little kids that have nothing to do with your fucked up life, your stupid... You know, it just makes you very angry. Do you get what I mean? Imagine being a parent, dropping your kid off at school. You're thinking it's a normal average day. Gets fucking killed because some psycho is deluded. Now before we judge and say, oh man, parents probably didn't raise him well. Shit. Parents might have raised him well, but he's just fucked up in that. That's often the case as well. Sometimes it doesn't even start with the family. You got these motherfuckers nowadays that be invested in all these crime documentaries, searching up all these things, because here nowadays in the Netherlands, not sure if it's popular in the USA, you can actually 3D print guns. I can buy a printer for a couple thousand bucks and I can actually 3D print a real legit gun that shoots bullets. But I ain't gonna do that. But you get what I mean? This is sad, man. Something has to happen. Fuck it, even if it means that America has to invest tens of millions of dollars of security at schools, do it. It's worth people's lives. It ain't fucking worth it letting people getting killed left or right. Something has to happen. And it needs to happen ASAP. Because this is the how many school shooting or shooting in general. You go on the news, it is fucking bizarre the amount of shootings that you see on, on American news. It's like... It's normalized almost as a non-American myself. If a school shooting happens in the EU, we get very shocked. China has had a school shooting in the past 15 years, only once. Sweden, zero. Netherlands, zero. Luxembourg, zero. Our gun laws are very harsh, but there is a reason because we Europeans don't believe in it. Because, well, I'll be honest, I'm glad, this is for my own personal opinion, by the way, I'm actually very glad that gun laws are a thing in the Netherlands and in the whole of EU. Because let's say in the EU, you get into an argument with someone. The chance that someone pulls out a gun is so small. And unfortunately, when you have an argument and it, you know, gets out of hand in America, for example, the chance that someone is weaponized is so high, you better shut your mouth. You know what I mean? I mean, I do the same here. Motherfuckers be wearing knives. That is an unfortunate popular thing on the people and teenagers nowadays in the Netherlands and in the EU, people wearing knives. Now, knives is not illegal, but they use it, unfortunately, for stabbing ops and stuff. But, um, yeah, something has to happen, man. This is unacceptable. And the government has to step in. Biden has to step in. There has to be a meeting of saying, okay, we have to fortify the schools. You know, I'm not saying you should give the teachers guns. Fucking absolutely not. No, don't weaponize anyone. Where are the school detectors? Where is locking up the doors after a certain time? We need these things. If it can save people's lives, then we should do it, even if it costs hundreds of millions of dollars. If you can prevent a school shooting every time, that's a job done very, very well. So I'm gonna end this video, and I want you to tell me down in the comments below what your thoughts are on this school shooting. Very shocked. I have no words, man. Recipes for these kids. Um, yeah, I can only imagine it, man. And it hurts because I also have a little sister myself. 
and you just hope that these type of things never overcome to you or your family or friends. Um, yeah, one of the worst feelings. So uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. And see you guys uh, Saturday, man. Hey, peace out.